What's going on, my little angry people? It is I, the Angry Bassist, coming at you live from my little nerd corner once again. Today we're going to have some metal news, some music news, some good news, and then we're going to start a new little segment today called What the Fuck, Blizzard? Really? Hang around, we'll get right back into it. <laughs> So what's happening, my people? I took the day off yesterday. I was running into some issues with my ripsaw. It didn't want to do what I'm making it do right now for whatever reason. But some awesome, or not very awesome, it's not awesome at all. In fact, I hope it doesn't spell doom. But um, the band that every metalhead loves to love and hate all at the same time, Ghost. Ghost is in the news. As of yesterday, it appears that four former members of the band are suing Papa Emeritus III, or also known as Tobias Forge, as confirmed by court documents that were filed in... Let me see if I get this name right. It's Linkoping District Court in Sweden that he is being sued for unpaid compensation and royalties. It appears that Forge hasn't been paying the former members any of the wages from shows, merchandise sales, or anything of that nature. Um, now, from what I understand, they are suing him for the amount of 200,000 Kronig. I think that's right. I could be a little bit wrong on that. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not how to. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But in the equivalent for U.S. currency, that would be around. $22,000, which to us, for a wildly successful band, that seems like a minuscule amount, but for the time that they were in the band and the success for the band, I would imagine that that would amount to a good chunk of change. Now, a former guitarist, I want to say that it was Omega Peter, left in July of 2016 due to unpaid compensation, and he's wanting to bring life to a former band project that was in the works previous to Ghost. Um, now, I may be wrong, I may be right, I'm not really sure, I do need to confirm this, but it appears that previous members of Ghost have formed a band called Priest. I'm not really sure what that will entail, whether it will be a Ghost-style band or if it's going to be more of a Mock-style band in light of everything but i hope it doesn't spell doom for the band because they are one of the best bands to break out since late 2010 at least and their sophomore effort meliora was just fantastic start to finish um now as far as music news is concerned i did stumble across something pretty awesome now anybody knows me knows that i'm not a fan of black metal at all or death metal, but I did run across this black metal band that is a pug. It's called, uh, let's see, I can't find the name of it right offhand, but it's pretty awesome. I'm going to leave a link below for you guys to check that out. Show them some love. I'm not, you know, sponsored by them or anything, but I just thought it was too awesome to pass up. But, um,. Some gaming news. Oh, oh man. Oh. For you PS4 fans out there, the Humble Bundle. I don't know if you guys have taken part in that or not. But for a small fee, you can get multiple titles for a bundle of games. And usually it's big AAA titles. This month, it looks like for 45 bucks, and I'm just going to name off a few of these. But some of them are some of my favorites. Um, let's see. Red Faction, Arcania, Destroy All Humans 1 and 2, Darksiders, Darksiders 2, Darksiders 2, The Definitive Edition, sorry I'm looking at my notes here, and then Darksiders War Mastered, which is of course the remastered version of the first Darksiders. You guys really need to check that out. Pick it up if you haven't played any of them. Uh, I'm a big fan of Red Faction. I have been since it was released on PC way back in the day. But um... This is going to segue into um, something I wanted to talk about, and it's the gaming industry as a whole right now. 
with the announcement of Destiny 2 and it, the expansion schedule being leaked, um, I'm not a fan, everybody knows, I'm not a fan of Activision. I'm really tired of them selling broken games. It, you know, they do everything. I, I know it's an industry to make money, but in my opinion, they're really screwing their key audience here. We are the ones who make them the money. Um, you know, you have the exact same schedule as you did with the first Destiny. You know, release in late September, and then drop an expansion in late December, holiday season. Then turn around and drop another one in spring, but it's not going to be a complete game until late next year. Now, I'm sure that it may be a little better than Destiny 1, but I have a fear that it's going to be the same thing over and over from Bungie and Activision, which really hurts my heart personally. I'm a big Bungie fan. I have been since Halo, obviously. Um, I've not really been a fan since 343 took over the franchise. I really wish that Bungie would take back over this franchise, but at this point, I feel like Activision would just wreck it more than they would do any justice to it. I'm hoping that Destiny will have a more fleshed out story, have you know a little bit more for us to do instead of just keeping us walled off and behind a paywall. It's kind of like Destiny 1 right now. I don't even have all of the expansions. I've got all the way up to uh, the Takey King. I, I'm not really interested in purchasing the Rise of Iron or whatever it is because that's it. the game itself, while you can still experience some of the content, you're kind of stuck behind that wall. And once that expansion's out, you really have nothing to do. But that also leads me into the next title that I want to talk about. And that's going to be a new segment that we're going to start today called What the Fuck Blizzard. And just to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about there, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to swap over, and we're going to get into this and really hash it out. Because I'm sure some of you fellow World of Warcraft players are really going to agree with me on this. Some are just going to call me a loser and lame, whatever. But we'll go over it and just hash it out. So... Here we are with a new segment called What the Fuck Blizzard. Hope you guys enjoy it. What's up my angry little birds? Welcome to What the Fuck Blizzard. I am the angry bassist. Of course you've already watched the first half of this video. But also I want to introduce you to my human death knight Brombone. Say hello. Okay, so, what we're going to look at right now, the first thing with What the Fuck Blizzard is any of you who are in the Broken Shores and you have got your Mage Tower completely constructed, you will be given a quest by this stupid little woman up here that's on fire, or Counselor Victoria, and that quest is Closing the Eye. Which is, speak, we have received reports from the apprentices at Xylem's Tower that they've been able to use the remnant of Xylem's portal to pinpoint his location. We have orders from the Council of Six to open a portal directly to him, though whatever magic he's channeling on the other end is powerful enough to allow us to only keep it open for a brief window. The apprentice, Joanna, asked if I give you, asked I give you this message before you proceed. Speak to me when you are ready. Now, with that being said, they have made this impossibly difficult for whatever reason. So, for a moment, I'm going to sit down and eat my Nightborn Delicacy Platter, which gives me 375 Mastery in addition for an hour. Then we're also going to buff up a little bit with a Defiled Augment Rune that also boosts... In agility, intellect, and strength, of course, with me being a DK, I benefit from strength for 325 points for an hour, as well as a Greater Draenic Strength Flask, which is an additional 250. So, that should make me pretty powerful, right? Well, 
Yeah, sort of. So, they've made this impossibly difficult. Greetings. And we're getting ready to find out why. So I'm on fire. So, we go up here to this mage tower here. And we're going to do a little role play here. You'll notice how quickly I die. You and they make this absolutely impossible for whatever reason. I, can siphon the arcane energy from I can't possibly fathom what they were thinking of this. Of so magic. we're getting ready to find Your out once the fight starts. By my demon Sorry masters. if I'm going to be button mashing a, a little bit and also watching the video and watching him run his little mouth a little bit. Magic, he'll shoot his little cross bolt. Then he'll do this stupid stuff. See? You die almost instantly. I don't understand. What the fuck, Blizzard? Apparently, I'm at item level 860. I've tried to beat down the ice. I've done everything I can possibly try to do. And it still doesn't do anything. Fix this shit, Blizzard. Because it's really, really fucking obnoxious. Okay, now we're going to move on to... The the next part of this that is obnoxious and some of you guys may have actually gone over this a little bit it's been a little bit of an outrage uh, in the world of Warcraft since 7.2 dropped and that is item level scaling for mobs in the broken broken shore now for anyone that may be new to world of Warcraft most of us aren't and if you're watching this segment of the video chances are you're not new to the game so Item level scaling, so that means here, item level 860, and that increases with each piece of gear that you put on that's a higher item level. So if you go up an item level, the mobs get stronger. So there's not really that much of other than, you know, being able to survive everything, this, that, and the other, and be a little bit more powerful. You're not getting getting ahead of the curve at all. At all. So you're not going to be any more powerful than you normally would be. The statue is really nice. Gives you damage fit dealt increased by 15% for an hour. The last time I clicked it, it gave me 5,000 to my stats for an hour, which was absolutely freaking awesome. Um, also, a new change they put in was the orange over horde players. Makes it a little bit easier to tell them apart. Got a new quest here. Um, Blizzard has been making it a habit, they, they, making small changes here and there that really do impact the game that are really, really obnoxious. But that one particular encounter. Is the most obnoxious that I've encountered since 7.2 has dropped. Um, another well-known one is obviously a giant murloc named Agatha. And that's primarily for warriors if they want their additional um, artifact power or artifact weapon skin. Um, a lot of people are having a lot of trouble with defeating her. And the bad part about these encounters are... You can't take anybody else in the game with you to finish these encounters. You're literally stuck doing them on your own with no help. Um, one of the additions for the Broken Shore is finally they've made it a little bit easier to get around. As you can see, um, there's portals to Suramar, Stormheim, Valshara, Azuna, and High Mountain. So that makes it a little bit e easier to get back and forth when you get around. Which that does help a little bit, but that does not by any mean that their improvements as far, well, I wouldn't even call it improvements. It's one of those what the fuck moments. It's kind of like, uh, you know, when they implemented 10 man rating on the 25 man scale, that was obnoxious for a lot of players as well. So we're going to be having a segment like this each day. I'll find something in the game that really annoys the living shit out of me, like this, 
that I've been trying to get done for two fucking days, but they make it impossible. I almost feel like you need to be top tier raid geared to actually get through with this. If you guys have any tips or suggestions on especially UDK players to get through with this, let me know. Drop them in the comments there. I'll definitely try them out. I'll even put them in the video here to see what works and what doesn't work. And if it's not working, we'll try something else out. But um, I am going to start trying to stream later on through the week. Um, the first half of the week, it's usually pretty busy and I'm trying to get established into a groove of going to work and getting up and going to bed and this that and the other um as life changes of course schedules will change we'll see what happens but i'm gonna try to keep doing this for you guys every day and i really do appreciate you guys that are watching the videos or really taking your time out to share it with your friends getting some news around i know it's not a whole lot and i'm not wildly entertaining entertaining just yet but I'm just now cutting my teeth as far as the YouTube thing is going. Um, as far as the streams are concerned, I would like to start streaming at least over the weekend. Uh, of course, we'll be streaming through the day and at night. Through the week, probably not a whole lot. Maybe a couple of days. We might do some Xbox Live. might do some World of Warcraft. We'll see. Um, again, you can hit me up we'll play whatever i'm always down for some halo or some gears 4 or of course some world of warcraft or I've, you know i've got some call of duty i've got some other games like that but just let me know we'll drop it in there we'll see what we can do but as always i am the angry bassist and thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight uh don't forget to like and subscribe leave some comments down below Check out the Facebook, check out the Instagram. Now, the Instagram is my personal Instagram as well as the Angry Basis Instagram. So you'll get a little image into my life as well as the days go on. But as always, I do appreciate you guys. I love you guys a long time. No $2, no sucky sucky. I just love you guys a long time. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy, take it sleazy, or take it any way you can get.